remember, to remember everybody that a while ago we made a video on ADV China called There Are No Birds in China. Now, obviously, it doesn't mean there are zero birds no. in China. It's just it's kind of like a, when, when you go somewhere you're like, oh, there's nothing fun to do in this town. It doesn't mean that. There no. are fun things to right. do. It's just it's a very small sure. percentage. Correct. So We're, it, the comparison is compared to the average country you will go to, you'll yeah. see far fewer birds Look, in China. Even if you're just going to Hong Kong, which is right over the yeah, border you'll from see a Shenzhen, lot more birds. I remember being shocked because you go sit down at a cafe or something and you got finches landing on your table and stuff. Yeah. And it's like, wait, what's going on? It's shocking. You will notice a drastic drop in birds. In fact, yes. they're almost absent in the cities. Right. And you have to really look hard. Meanwhile, where we live here in Southern California, we've got hummingbirds and we've got, I got hawks in my tree. And I ran into, I literally stood two feet in front of a hawk the other day. Yeah. It shocked me. I was like, what the heck? No, I mean, it's just like you cannot look anywhere without seeing birds is what I'm saying. So you get used to it. But when you go to China, you don't. So our favorite snake oil salesman posts this picture on Twitter and he (laughs) he, he, he adds, okay, what does he, what does he do? He says, um, okay. Oh, by the way, these guys can't speak Chinese. They so can't. This is where the, the humor comes in. Hashtag no birds in China. This is like a gotcha moment yeah. for them, right? Yeah. So my reply to him was, lol, those doves don't count you, Bellend. They're bred, domesticated, and trained to be part of the tourist experience. You can buy food to feed them. You can't see? Show me the wild birds, not artificially placed ones. So let and, me tell you what happened after this. Yeah, sure. A bunch of people came in there and they're like, what are you talking about? These are these are wild birds. Yeah. So, Look, it even says, don't feed the birds on the sign. Well, I mean, no, that's the thing. I came at him because right in the picture, there's a little <laughs> box that's been placed down there temporarily because this is kind of like a, a little money-making mm-hmm. scheme. So Tim, learn to read Chinese, you moron. It, moron. it literally says right there, you're not allowed to feed them with food you brought along with you. You need to buy food to feed it, uh, to feed them, you dolt. It's like saying there are wild elephants in New York because the circus is in town, Bell End. Okay, and let's see the picture. Yeah, let's let's uh, go forward a little bit here. Um, so this says, Jinjie Tao Wei Zi Dai Shi Wu. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you're gonna go after someone, yeah, especially on Twitter or something, with a pic with photographic evidence, you'd think. You try to, I mean, I know he doesn't read Chinese, even though he's yeah. been in China for like 6,000 years, you know, well, yes. he's a corpse. Yes. But anyway, the, when he, yeah, when he was resurrected, whenever, he, yeah, whenever he was <laughs> yeah, resurrected sure. from his, his tut and common. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, anyway, so, hey, long story short, you'd think you'd go and look around to make sure you're not fucking up. Yeah. yeah. But unfortunately, what this actually translates to is you're forbidden from not only feeding the birds, you're forbidden from feeding the birds your own food that, that you, you brought, brought along with you. So, which means this is set up, and we, we suspect on the bottom it says uh, how much, yeah, uh, it's too blurry, how much, yeah, we can't but it says like how much a bag of food costs. This whole thing is set up. Well, actually, I'm going to take it back to the original picture, sorry, sure. go through. In the original picture, you can actually see the man, um, and he's in Yeah, the, he's scooping the food. He? He's He's up there. Yeah, yeah. You can see like a cardboard box, and he's got what looks like a, a, a shopping basket on top and he's the one who's giving out the feed so you had people like nah, uh it's just like in new york where they say don't feed the birds okay so then explain to me why everyone is feeding the birds yeah so you can say oh okay well fair enough i mean people still feed the birds in new york city the most important is the language that mm. says don't feed the birds the food you brought by the now, way these are house pigeons yeah no they, these are domesticated pigeons and you can see all the little children are feeding the birds around there and their parents are there taking photos and whatnot that's because it's a touristy thing. It's a money-making thing. You buy a little, little bit of bird food and you feed it to them, okay? And you take photos. So if you're going to say this means don't feed the birds, it just shows you how disorderly Chinese society is that nobody listens to the rules. It's not that. Of course you can feed the birds. You pay people right there. It's literally a money-making scheme. It is, but... So this is the proof that there are wild birds in China. Yeah. Oh, this is the hawk I ran into yeah. the other okay, day. Okay, but just, just to... To um, uh, get past this whole thing, when you see a don't feed the birds uh, sign or don't feed the animals sign in Chinese, it's different. It doesn't say don't. This is Jinjie Tao Wei. So that mm-hmm. means don't feed. Yeah. Don't feed the animals. Yeah. Right. It doesn't say don't feed the animals your own brought food from home. Yeah, it just says don't <laughs> feed them. Don't, yeah, exactly. So it does, that, that sign there doesn't mean don't feed the birds. It means don't feed the, the, the birds your own food. You have to buy the food from us to feed it to them. This, by the way, this hawk was massive. The thing, yeah. it was like up to my waist. It yeah. was huge. Yeah. It's amazing. But we see so many cool birds here, even in LA. I know, it's crazy. Um, 
like I was saying, you just see, I've got a hummingbird feeder out back and the hummingbirds come in there. But the, the fun part about all this was the people that came to um, the defense. <laughs> okay. Let's look at what they showed. Okay. My balcony, the birthplace of two dove chicks exactly one month ago. Okay. Do doves. This. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. okay. That's fine. Okay. Now someone else sent another picture as proof. Let's see. Again, that's what a surprise. It's the exact same thing. It's the domesticated doves, pigeons, whatever you want to call pigeons, them. House pigeons, yeah. House pigeons over there that they've got where you can feed them. And there you can see the kids feeding them and getting photos taken. It's the exact same thing. It's a thing. When you go to a kind of a touristy area in China, whether it be a shopping mall or a tourist square, you have these trained doves, which you can then go buy food to feed them. There is this, I, we forgot to put it in the YouTube video. There's this mm -hmm. guy, I can't remember what city he's in, but he's in China, a foreigner. I think he's American or something. Yeah. And he's like, fuck you, ADV China or whatever. And he's like, yeah. look at these birds. And he shows like this pinned off square of yeah. house pigeons. It's house pigeons as yeah. well. It's the same thing that what you're seeing here. So then now these guys are obviously, now they're on hardcore. We got to prove that there are birds in China. I'm going to go out and look for it. So somebody yeah. goes out and... Um, Tries to Remember the one YouTuber that went out to like 6 a.m. to a nature yeah, preserve? He had to drive by. <laughs> so wait, here, yeah, I know. Here's a video. Someone thing. from his balcony is like, I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> Look at these three pigeons <laughs> on top of a roof. We made people go and spend it's, their time to go do Look this. at he's zooming in on three <laughs> pigeons. Okay. All right. Fair play. You found some of the pigeons probably escaped from one of those like feeding petting zoo things. Uh, and then God, another guy is like one? a sparrow, a common bird in China. <laughs> He's got one solitary sparrow. This poor thing's lost. Okay. <laughs> Ambling around in the middle of his like field oh, or whatever. Shit. It's just, you can't make this up. It's wow. It's, it's ridiculous. I love it. Is I this, think it's, is this the, the, the insecurity? Yeah, I mean, the people are going out and they're like, holy shit, I saw a sparrow. I better film this so that I can prove that there are birds in China. This wow. one solitary sparrow. Hang wow. on a second. There are three doves on that roof. Quickly, get the phone out. Zoom in. Ha, I see. I told you there are birds in China. Come on, guys. You can't understand that there's a little nuance to this. When somebody says there are no birds in China, we don't mean zero. We mean it's very hard to find birds in China. And all the birds that they're using as examples are freaking pigeons. It's like showing rats to say that we've got a wildlife preserve here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, come on, guys. We should charge people. We should, like, start leaving food out so we get rats yeah, and ants. Yeah, just be like, look, look at this petting zoo. It's just rats <laughs> and ants. <laughs> and ants. Yeah, so anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny. Mom, um, get the camera. Yeah, exactly. Look, there's a rat. Oh, nice and Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh, anyway, so shit. we just thought we'd put that out there Sorry. for some fun. Yeah. Um, Keep the bird hunts up, guys. We, we love it. Yeah. Sorry um, to waste your time. Let's <laughs>